imagine waiting on a tornado warning with your family in the safety of your basement when suddenly heavy rains produce flash flooding and water starts pouring into the basement around you? Do you stay in the basement at the risk of electrocution, fire, or drowning? Or go upstairs and risk the tornado? Residents in Dubuque's B Branch watershed have faced this difficult decision. Over 50% of Dubuque's residents either live or work within the 6.5 square mile B Branch watershed. It is located entirely within the city limits and is home to some of Dubuque's oldest neighborhoods and most affordable housing. It is also the area most impacted by flash flooding during significant rain events. Some streets are transformed into rivers of stormwater from curb to curb. Too frequently it results in flooded basements damaging water heaters, furnaces and electrical boxes. It can cause electrical hazards, fires, and eventually mold. Flood disasters have repeatedly impacted residents within the watershed. Between 1999 and 2011, six presidential disaster declarations were issued with total damage estimates of almost $70 million. The Bee Branch watershed is characterized by steep slopes and bluffs that shed water quickly from the west to the east into the flat areas adjacent to the Mississippi River. Too much stormwater flows quickly to the same place at the same time where it collects with nowhere for it to safely drain. The Bee Branch Watershed Flood Mitigation Project is a multifaceted approach to addressing the severe and frequent flash flooding experienced in the watershed. The project consists of several infrastructure improvements that will reduce the volume of stormwater, slow the rate of stormwater through the upper watershed, increase the safe conveyance of stormwater through the flood-prone area, and provide floodwater protection for the city's water treatment plant. To reduce the volume of stormwater, the city is using permeable pavement. Permeable pavement has pores or openings that allow water to pass through the surface and filter gradually into the soil below. Approximately 240 alleys located within the B Branch watershed will be converted to permeable concrete pavers. This green alley conversion is expected to reduce stormwater runoff within the watershed by up to 80%. Significant progress has been made with over 70 alleys converted from 2014 to 2016. To slow the rate of stormwater through the upper watershed, the city constructed two upstream detention basins that hold back water to allow time for the downstream, flat areas to drain. The Carter Road Detention Basin was completed in 2003. It can hold 59.3 million gallons of stormwater runoff. The West 32nd Street Detention Basin was completed in 2009. The storage capacity of the basin was more than doubled from 15 million gallons to 32 million gallons of water. A combination of wildflowers, prairie grass, and wetland vegetation was planted to maximize its ability to retain runoff and reduce flows and volumes to downstream properties. In order to safely convey stormwater through Dubuque's North End neighborhood to the Mississippi River, the city is restoring the Bee Branch Creek and making improvements to several storm sewers within the watershed. The creek restoration involved replacing almost one mile of the old Bee Branch storm sewer with a creek and green space that resembles the one that traversed the area approximately 100 years ago. This restoration or daylighting of the buried Bee Branch Creek will move stormwater through Dubuque's North End neighborhood to the Mississippi River without flooding adjacent properties. The creek is split into two distinct sections, the Lower Bee Branch, which was completed in 2011, and the Upper Bee Branch, which will be functional in 2016, with landscaping and other details completed in the spring of 2017. The creek can hold just under 19 million gallons of water. The Old Bee Branch storm sewer could hold less than 20% of what can be stored in the creek. Stormwater that would have previously flooded streets and basements will now pass through the creek, minimizing flood damage. The Bee Branch Creek Railroad Crossing involves the placement of six large diameter pipes under the Canadian Pacific Railroad right-of-way. The pipes will allow stormwater to drain more efficiently from the upper Bee Branch Creek to the lower Bee Branch Creek. Stormwater can form what resembles a river in the streets of several problem areas. Currently, the storm sewers are not large enough to handle even a moderate rain event. 
To address street flooding, the city will increase the capacity of the storm sewers along 17th Street from Elm to West Locust, along 22nd Street from Elm to Kane, and throughout the North End neighborhood. The sewers will be expanded up to 10 times their current capacity, and additional stormwater drains will be installed. The flood mitigation project also includes the B Branch Healthy Homes Resiliency Program. In 2016, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development awarded the City of Dubuque $8.4 million to assist watershed homeowners in repairing and floodproofing their homes. The rehabilitation of 320 housing units will decrease environmental health and safety issues from flooding, such as dampness and mold growth, electrical hazards, and structural issues. The B Branch Watershed Flood Mitigation Project is fully funded from multiple sources, including financial assistance from the state of Iowa and federal government, private donations, debt, and funds allocated from the local stormwater utility. As of 2016, the city had received $160 million in grants. It is estimated that the $219 million project will prevent $582 million in damages over the 100-year design life of the project. It will also protect over 1,300 homes and businesses from severe and frequent flash flooding and create an incentive for reinvestment in a vital area of the Dubuque community. To learn more about the B Branch Watershed Flood Mitigation Project, visit www.cityofdubuque.org slash bbranch.